opponents of North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory are suspicious. No hate. No fear. No stealing our election. McCrory is refusing to accept he lost in November's election and is calling for a recount, though there's no evidence of mass irregularities. Here, they suspect he's hoping to delay the election result long enough so that the Republican-controlled state assembly will step in and choose a winner, him, as it's allowed to do in a contested election. It may seem just too brazen, but civil rights leaders say this is a brazen administration. It's been known to ram through controversial bills, sometimes in the middle of the night, with little notice. They have no credibility. We hope they will not do it. But we're not going to sit around and twiddle our thumbs and not be prepared if they do it. That's not all. The state Supreme Court tilted to the left in November's election after a Democratic judge unseated a Republican. Now it's being suggested the Republicans may simply expand the number of justices on the Supreme Court, appoint two new Republican justices, and then wipe out the new liberal majority. Mitch Kokai says the idea was floated almost immediately after the election, so he checked the state constitution and was surprised to find that it was possible. He works for a conservative think tank, but even he says nothing can be ruled out. Politically, I think it would be a terrible idea. Constitutionally, they would be well within their rights to do it. The Republicans have long been bold in North Carolina, for example, in making it more difficult to vote. They passed new ID laws and restricted both early voting and same-day registration. In overturning some of these laws, a federal court found Democrat-leaning African-American voters were being targeted by the state, quote, with almost surgical precision. It's this record that makes so many suspicious of the governor, even as he claims it's his voters who've been disenfranchised. The Republicans didn't respond to our request for an interview, but political scientist Stephen Green says the possibility of such a naked power grab can't be discounted. Yeah, it would be an extreme step for the legislature to take some of these actions, but I think a lot of people feel legitimately, well, they have taken some pretty extreme steps. But if you try to steal this election, we're going to have mass civil disobedience right here in North Carolina. So in North Carolina, this long election is still far from over. Shehabritansi Al Jazeera, Raleigh, North Carolina.